What's up guys? I am back with another video. I am giving you guys a kitchen tour. So the cool thing about this area, I already talked about my coffee station. I told you guys in that video I was also looking for a sign and my husband found one. This sign is super, super cute. It's super chic and it definitely goes with my color flow throughout our house. So I'm not gonna go in too much detail on this stand. If you guys do wanna check out my video, I will link that above and below so you guys will know how much I paid for a lot of this stuff on the coffee bar. I will say this sign came from Home Goods. It cost about $15, I believe. That's how much we paid for that sign. So yes. Moving on to the second counter section we have a ton of counter space and a ton of cabinets our cabinets are like kind of almost an espresso color not so much but it definitely goes well with our countertops so on this portion here i actually wasn't planning on putting this toaster this toaster retails for 79.99 i believe it's a kitchen aid toaster we got it from the wedding my husband actually uses the toaster so that's the only reason why i set the toaster on the counter i was actually going to put it under the cabinets but he uses it quite frequently so it makes more sense to have it out then i went ahead and purchased a rolling pin this rolling pin came from quite crate and barrel excuse me it was 26 dollars i believe but it's very very cute and it's extremely heavy and the rolling pin does come with the stand so the next thing i put on here is this little cute drink station i love it i got it from at home and it's so nifty these have the little spigots and if i pull this out you guys what's even cooler is if you have three different drink options you can just label them here so if people wanted to know what kind of drinks you're putting in here you don't even have to tell them it did come with chalk so i just leave that out with the stand so in case we ever do decide to write on them it will be there and the pretty cool thing about my kitchen well our kitchen is that i have a ton of plugs we have plugs essentially everywhere so the last thing on here is our wedding photo our wedding day how cute that's us Yay, us. Somebody bought this picture frame for us. I'm not sure who did, but shout out to y'all. Thank you. You guys made it to our kitchen. Anyways, so I decided to put some pictures in a frame and just have us there. Perfect way to seal off the homey kitchen vibe. To the third set of cabinets. These cabinets actually do get smaller than these ones, and these ones are actually smaller than those ones. So it's pretty cool, but it's definitely you have to organize your cabinets pretty well because the cabinet sizes do change so over here is where the stove is i didn't want a lot of stuff on here but i wanted important things on here so i have a flower jar i did mention these in my coffee bar area so this flower jar i want to say this was 15.99 we got it off our registry this sugar thing, I got it on sale for I wanna say $10.99. These all came from Target. And then I went ahead and got the Butter Me Up. This was on sale for I wanna say $5.99 if I'm not mistaken. All at Target. I know this doesn't sit on here, but right now I'm not trying to soften any butter, so I went ahead and just stuck it on the countertop. And I love these two oil things. One of them is vinegar and the other one is oil i got these from west elm they were 24.99 i believe the it came with two of these i don't know where the other one is so the house wouldn't smell like vinegar i just went ahead and stopped the vinegar one and i was okay leaving the vinegar and oil i mean the oil one uncapped so then moving on to the other side i have my utensils holder this is the sister to the vinegar and oil parties. I actually got this on sale. If you buy this regular price, it's expensive. I actually picked it up for 
and that was cute. I went ahead and ordered this bacon dripping thing. I don't know if you guys keep your bacon drippings or not. Sometimes I do. Anyways, so I went ahead and picked this up. This is from the Aisha Curry cooking wear line. I actually have the rest of her pots, so I just bought that as a matching set. I believe that's $7.99 on Target.com. If you are a tequila person, my husband wanted this on display. Somebody purchased this for a gift for us. And you guys, this is the prettiest bottle I've ever seen. It's very, very cute. Let's see. Here, the bottle is just cute itself. I don't think we'll be, I don't think we'll be drinking this anytime soon. I'm not a tequila person, so I doubt I will be. And just like the other two walls, we still have plugs. We have two sets of plugs. We have a plug over here, and then we have a plug on the opposite side. My mother gave me this sign, a house is not a home without my dog and OU. How cute, if you guys are OU fans, we have this sign in our house. <laughs> and then our paper towel holder. Nothing fancy about that, it's just a regular smuggler paper towel holder. I believe this paper towel holder I got from Home Goods as well. It was like $7.99. So then moving right along to the island. We do not have much on this island. I didn't want a lot on this island just due to the fact that people are gonna be sitting here and I don't want stuff getting knocked down. So the cool thing about this island it's, it still has granite countertops, which is pretty neat. And I went ahead and picked up these chic industrial style bar stools. If you're not a fan of industrial size bar stools, you probably will not like these. But these came from Target, $74.99. They were super easy to assemble and they are very, very sturdy. Some people, when they look at them, they're like, man, they're uncomfortable, but actually they're not. They really, really aren't. And if you like bar stools that turn, these ones do. These were $74.99, I believe, but I cut them on sale for $55, if I'm not mistaken, a piece. Now going over to our orchid, you guys, this, I have orchids everywhere. I picked this one up at Burlington. The silver goes with the theme of this house. I have silver stuff everywhere. This orchid is super, super cute. It's fun, chic, and if I don't want it in the kitchen, I can find somewhere else to set it. I got it for $24.99, I believe. Right along, the last thing that I have up here is just candles. I have one going right now. This is a tropical citrus. It smells amazing. And then this one I'm so excited to burn. It is a sensational guava candle. Oh my gosh, y'all. It smells amazing. But anyways, this is my lovely kitchen, you all. Hope you all enjoyed it. Love it. Like, comment if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, y'all. Bye.